to us, the, the mobile phone is a device that has a wonderful intimate relationship with the people who, with, with the users. Um, and whether it's social networking, um, whether it's beyond that as we do, um, it's absolutely critical to the mobile phone. It's what it's all about. Probably the thing that surprises me most in the flirting and dating piece is the amount of people time, or the amount of time people spend using the phone really for just boredom busting. I'm not sure it's the end of boredom, but for this, what, what do we describe in this, this instant gratification adultescent society we live in, it certainly helps in giving that gratification. You know, when I look at my kids, it's when they've got that five minutes in the tram to do something, uh, then they'll be burrowing into their mobile phone saying, oh, what can I do, what can I look at? That's the boredom busting side. Uh, so Jumbo is a company, we started as an Australian-based company about 10 years ago, um, uh, and from that base grew strongly into North America. On the back of that, we actually acquired a company in um, a Cologne-based German company called WAP3, and that took us into Latin American mainland Europe. And in 19 or 2008, we also acquired a company up in Scandinavia, um, playing in the same game. So today, we've got about 70 people globally, um, spread across Australia, US, um, Scandinavia, um, Central Europe, and the UK. As I said earlier, as we grew up through chat and dating, um, a lot of what we've observed in the consumer behaviours there has been around um, how we watch people um, search for other people to talk to, when they find them, how they go about engaging with them, um, how they validate their, their real and they've got what they want, and then how they connect and talk. So we've seen, we saw a lot of that in flirting and dating, um, and that was an easy place to start. Um, as a lot of the social networking's emerged and a lot of the, the flirting and dating stuff has become um, much more free and easy to do across instant messaging and other pieces, um, we've been looking for where can we take that ability to connect people living the, re living the same moment and take that into other, um, other environments. To some extent that's where pets came from. Um, you know, my pet's got this particular behavioural disorder, can I find someone else in the world who's got a pet with a similar disorder? Um, or I'm about to go walking my dog, um, who else in the neighbourhood's about to go walking their dog and would like to come with me? So they're the sort of moments and instances that we're looking for. Um, we don't think so much about user numbers, we're, we're much more concentrated on how we monetize those user bases. Um, so as a lot of the flirting and dating game has gone, it's no longer, we see lots of people building um, massive communities. We are more seriously thinking about um, how do we generate revenue from those users? Um, and given we work with 120 carriers globally, what's in it for those carriers? Um, so unlike the Facebooks and others where we have a whole bunch of headline numbers, um, we're much more focused on how do, we, how do we create these connection or these connection points and how out of that can we generate real revenues for users.